So we're gonna get the engine oil changed out of here, but first thing we wanna do is start the engine. If you're not familiar with the fake -a lake check out my video, and uh, let's get this thing going. Let's start it up. So we're letting the engine warm up right now, getting the, uh, all the fluids moved around in there, all the contaminants warmed up, and then also when the engine's hot, the oil's a lot thinner, so it's gonna flow out a lot easier. So while that's happening, we'll just let it warm up, and then we'll get the oil drained from the bottom, loosen the oil filter, and we'll be done. So we're looking good. So we got the engine turned nice and hot, and we want to use an oil filter. I have 40 weight oil. You want to use your engine's recommendation on the oil weight. And I'm also using a oil container to catch the old oil. Oil filter down here, and here's where they drain the oil. So all I'm gonna do is just loosen it and then put it at the bottom of the boat and let it drain out. So a helpful tip is just to break it loose right now so when you're at the bottom of the boat, you don't have to use all the tools and you're upside down trying to loosen it. I just broke it loose and now I'm gonna fish it under there and we're gonna get the container under there and we'll get it drained. So now we have the drain hose going through the bottom of the boat right there and we're gonna drain the oil right into the canister. the oil is dripping very slowly because it's coming out of a hose and you want to make it slope like this so it's going to come out but you want to wait probably about 30 minutes or so to let it fully drain out because it is draining out of a hose it's not just draining at the bottom of the drain pan so taking a little bit extra time here would be good to get all of the oil out or most of the oil out next part is removing the oil filter First thing I would do is clean it off a little bit and try to Dad. Alright, so now we broke it loose so you can spin it. But what I would recommend is getting a couple paper towels. Throwing it in a plastic bag. Loosening it this way. Get this out of the boat ASAP. Check and make sure that there's no rubber seal that got stuck on there and that your mounting stud is tight. And both of them look pretty good. There's no rubber seal stuck and the mounting stud is still tight. So we're good to go to put the new oil filter on. In the new oil filter, I put in just a little bit of oil just because this is such a big oil filter. I'll put a little bit in there. And what that also does is it gives me a little bit of oil to put on this seal. Because I don't want this seal to stick and get stuck on the engine box. So the next time I take it off, it'll come off nice and easy. Bring it down nice and easy. Tilt it up. Spin the canister on. And right when you feel it stop and hit the engine block, you want to just do another quarter turn. You don't want to make it too tight. And then you're set. You're ready to go. And let's go check the bottom and make sure all the oil is drained out. About 30 minutes have gone by and you can see there's really no oil dripping anymore. So we'll get that cleaned off. Put the cap back on. And it doesn't need to be super tight or anything and we'll pull it back through. Pull the hose back up. And now we are set to fill the engine. This 5.8 liter requires about five quarts of oil, but yours might vary a little bit, so just put in a couple quarts. Always check with the dipstick 
and remember that some of it is going to end up going into the oil filter so you just need to remember that always check it remember you always can add some but you can't always take it away it's a lot bigger pain to drain brand new oil out of your engine so I added about four quarts and it's just on the full mark right there so I am going to start it up and the oil level will drop a little bit but I want it to be a little bit above so when it cycles through it's going to fill in all the cracks and it's not going to go below the empty mark and then I'll shut it off and I'll adjust it and then we'll be good to go for the season. I'm going to start up the engine. I'm going to make sure the oil filter is not leaking and make sure the drain plug up here isn't leaking and always check the oil pressure that's very important so let's start it up starting the engine we want to make sure the oil pressure goes up if not either there's a leak by the oil filter where we just replaced it or the drain plug wasn't tightened so we need to check that out but let's start the engine and make sure it's all good <laughs> Oil pressure's going up, it's consistent, right where it's supposed to be, right around idle. Oil pressure's up, looking good. Go ahead and check the oil level and yeah it's below the add mark so we need to add even more oil now we're looking solid it's right there I would recommend checking the oil level after your first session in the water just to make sure everything's good your seals didn't absorb any oil or anything but besides that you successfully changed your oil. We got the oil filter replaced. The oil's all fresh. It's on the full mark, so we're set. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos, Impeller Change, Fake Lake, all that fun stuff, winterizing. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, thank you.